Hey guys, Zach Uack here. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Tech News. First, robotics company Boston Dynamics has just released their latest demo of their robot, Atlas. In earlier models, the robot only had legs, but now they have added arms. These arms are a huge upgrade because now the robot can really interact with its surroundings. The robot can pick up things, throw things, and put things down. In a video released by Boston Dynamics a few days ago, the robot can be seen using a piece of wood as a makeshift bridge to get across an obstacle, picking up and throwing a big bag, and even doing a cool flip. What a show off. Next, this week, scientists have transplanted the first 3D printed ear into a living human patient. The patient had a condition called microtia, which leaves patients with either no ear or a severely underdeveloped ear. This opens up a lot of new doors for scientists who can now finally 3D print body parts for patients. Maybe getting wings like a bird will finally be a reality. My sister always asked for wings when she was a little kid for Christmas. Next, you, as you guys may know, AI is really popular. For example, ChatGPT, which can write you anything you want from a prompt. It can reply to questions, and it can even write you a movie script if you ask it to. But ChatGPT now has a competitor. Former employees of OpenAI, which is the company that founded ChatGPT, have founded a startup called Anthropic. Anthropic has been quietly testing their own AI assistant similar to ChatGPT called Claude. Claude is very intelligent and he can de even determine if a prompt is potentially harmful. For example, if you ask him how to do something illegal, he will not respond to you. But he still has some flaws. For example, if you ask him to do complex math problems, for example, the cube root of a huge number, he won't be able to do it. And our last news for today. Have you ever thought that humans have added sight and sound to robots, computers, and other devices, even microwaves? Basically any technology. But they have never added a sense of smell. But using nature, this may finally be possible. Scientists in Tel Aviv University have created a robot that can identify smells using cricket antennae that is connected to an electronic system that measures the amount of electrical signal from the smell. Using this, the robot can identify what smell is next to it. In our study, we created a biohybrid platform which integrates biological sensors together with the electronic system. This system allows us to identify and recognize smell in a given place by using biological nose together with the electronic device. Now I can identify who farted in my class. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any cool tech news.